Hello guys and gals, me Muda, and today we're gonna look at us. We're gonna look at a YouTuber that stole from a homeless person. Now you might be like, "Whoa, Muda, this is a hidden video from you." No, 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 no. This is from the Mr. Beast clones, known as Phidias. If you don't know Phidias, well, you probably have seen him very lately getting dragged by the social media community, all of us, for uh, traveling across Japan for free by begging and hiding in train toilets. Now, I didn't know this until today, but begging illegal Japan. Let me actually do the complete, uh, complete the verification over here. Now, to understand, I didn't even know that begging or panhandling was apparently not even allowed in the country and sometimes may constitute a criminal offense. So, again, if you ever wonder why Japan has a homeless population of near 0%, uh, yeah, it's because they're one of the only countries that are kind of making it a little bit hard to be without a home. But anyways, going back to it, yeah, he was basically riding the train for free. Now, Phidias, who actually ended up having his video, I traveled across Japan for free. Oh, why am I watching a re-upload? Because YouTube actually removed the video on community guideline purposes, which uh, is to be expected. Now, Phidias is smart enough to hide in like bathrooms and trains, but eventually when confronted by the uh, train conductor, he proceeds to not just own up and pay what, the five, ten dollars uh, that it would cost to, to ride the train. No, he instead just gets out of there, zips away. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is illegal and it's also just embarrassing. Do you want to be known as a guy that basically like steals public transit publicly? Come on now. Now, to understand, Japan has kind of been a hub for some of the worst nuisance tourists right now. Uh, literally a few, uh, like a week ago, we looked at Johnny Somali, who very recently came into the news again because apparently he'll spend five years in a Japanese prison. Now, I think five years may be a little bit too excessive, but at the end of the day, I really don't care. The man made his own bed, so they could give him like a life in prison for all I care. Wouldn't, I mean, I'm just gonna laugh at a train wreck anyways. But to understand, he's been making a big nuisance in Japan and the government is pissed. Now, this is not real because of course it's coming from the source known as poptopic.com.au. Now, if you actually look through this entire uh, diatribe of chat GPT, you'll probably find out, whoa, there's no fucking source because there isn't. I read into the penal system of Japan. The closest that our friend Johnny Somali will face is definitely some years in the prison system because our conviction rating is high. They will make an example of him and he probably will have to participate in assigned labor, which is a priority in Japan's correctional system. By law, if a re if prisoner refuses work or neglects their labor responsibility, Punishment is to be implemented. Ain't no unemployment in that prison system. Work hours are eight hours each day over Monday to Friday and four hours on Saturdays. They don't even get full weekends off. God damn. Although individual cases may extend or limit these procedures, in most cases, inmates who perform paid work are paid for their activity. And uh, yeah, he's basically going to be participating. They're going to make him work for as long as he's there. But Johnny Somali has not been to an entire courtroom yet, so right now, nobody's going to be doing anything about it, okay? First, he's detained, and in Japan, they can detain you for a long fucking time. Once they send you to a courtroom, you'll be sentenced, and then, of course, his magical time in, Japanese as or in Japan's orderly prisons will commence. But until then, Johnny Somali's just kind of sitting pretty for now. Ladies and gentlemen, to whittle it on back down to Phidias, who is a fellow YouTuber. I looked at his channel over here and he's got about 2.38 million subscribers, so he's not small. But uh, if you look at through his videos, he's very much a Mr. Beast clone. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. Mr. Beast will refer to Mr. Beast clones as Mr. Beast clones. If you look at their thumbnails and their style of content, it's obviously there to appeal to a vast majority of individuals who just happen to watch YouTube videos in and out of the ordinary. Kind of like that overly positive crowd that, you know, the, the, kind of, uh, the kind of social media crowd you only see in like movies and video games. He is definitely a successful content creator, but he does some shit that's a ve that, that's very questionable. So I remember we were looking at this during the filming of like the podcast that's coming out next week. Me and Oompaville and Nux and uh, Solid JJ sat down and actually looked at Phidias's channel live and uh, came across some rather weird findings. Now Phidias seems like he loves Elon Musk. In one of his videos, how I forced Elon Musk to hug me. To give you an idea, 
Uh, Phidias's only, like, weird display of YouTube behavior isn't just traveling across Japan for free. Watch this. Is it possible to pitch your business idea to Elon Musk, the most successful person of our generation? This is a question. Not if we're counting Twitter, my man. <laughs> Not if we're doing that. Now, if I was Elon Musk, I would immediately start capturing and getting some, like, I would just start beefing up my security. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick Google search on Elon Musk, just a quick search on his channel, will tell you that he's been trying to hug Elon Musk for, like, 20 days, okay? Uh, he did eventually hug Elon Musk, but this guy basically camped outside Twitter's headquarters just so he could come close to touching the taint of Elon Musk. Insanity! Elon Musk was coming from this direction, and I was going to this direction. And this is day 55 of me trying to give him a hug. And when he saw me, and we locked eyes, he started moving very fast to the other direction. <laughs> Yeah, because he's scared of you, goddamn! <laughs> but you know what they say, like, hey, listen, consistency is the best success guide on YouTube. Because he did eventually end up hugging Elon Musk. This is the, this is one of his most popular videos ever, where he hugged the top 100 celebrities. So again, if we go all the way to, like, the end of this, you'll find out he did, in fact, get to Elon Musk. And it might be one of the scariest things that I've ever seen. To the building and I'm waiting for his text. After three months of struggling, I finally received the golden text. How do you feel proud on saying after three months of stalking this man and harassing him, he finally had to cave in and give me that hug? God damn. There is no goddamn shame left on this world. The oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure his team said, come now to get the hug, dude. That's not code for it. Yeah, get, get, get over here. We're going to have security basically ambush you. <laughs> it's time to meet my hero in person. Ladies and gentlemen, every single day for the last three months, I've been staying outside in the streets, making videos and all this stuff. And I want to say thank you to all the people that convinced you, the kids in the World Cup, all the people. Yeah, I like so just that the, you know, the, the kids could uh, they, they could ask for anything for themselves. What the hell? Did he like freeze up there? Did you pull a did you pull a Mark Zuckerberg there, Elon? He's like, I don't know what to do, man. I'm just here to get you off the premises. If this is all it takes versus hiring Merriweather, maybe so. <laughs> God damn it. Not very easy to articulate things. But you say things very simple, but you are this uh, Dude, I've never yeah, seen a man that scared so in his life. He has got like three trained snipers right now just to protect him from what's about to happen. <laughs> this is so goddamn awkward to watch, dude. You can see that he is actually somewhat scared of his life. I swear to God, he's weirded out. To meet you in person. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, it's time for the hug. Okay. Are you ready? I mean, are you, you seem pretty good at hugging. So yeah, come on, dude, get like in. Elon's like, hugging. you got this, you're like a champ. <laughs> he's like <laughs> stretching for it, dude, hell yeah. All right, so we finally managed to hug Elon Musk in what is, without a doubt, one of the creepiest ways that I've ever seen. God damn it. But of course, beyond all of it, you know, he's got some random shorts, like how, how, how he almost got arrested in China, which has some of the funniest fideicisms that I've ever seen. Okay, listen to this one. I went inside the foot massage place and a man started undressing me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, he went to a massage parlor and got undressed. Oh my. Oh man, that's a little wild. Instantly. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He's got that like 85 porn music playing right now. God damn. I went outside to tell you something crazy that happened. So the last couple of days, I made a very good friend here in China. And I asked her, what do you think about the president? And she said, I'm not allowed to talk about this in public. Phidias is like, Phidias is like, oh, she almost said Winnie the Pooh live and almost got sent to a re-education re camp. That's the craziest thing that happened to me in China. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do press X to doubt on that one, dude. <laughs> God damn. By the way, this blur that you're seeing over here, I actually had to add in my video because Phidias straight up d uh, gave the identity away or the actual face of the person who possibly said some bad things about the pr president of China, which is a no-no in China. No, no, no doubt about that. Again, Phidias, if this story was true, it's up to you to hide your sources. Come on, man. But probably one of my favorite Fi Phineas, Fidi why do I call him Phineas? What is wrong with me? Phidias. Phidias. One of my favorite Phidias videos is Homeless in the Most Dangerous Place in America, okay? So here you got Phidias starting his intro off in front of what appears to be like 
uh, the satanist, uh, the, the satanist tent, if you will, too. And uh, let's I get the start. Spend the next three days homeless in Los Angeles, with the last day being the most dangerous street, Skid Row. Dude, he's right in front of Skid Row. That's like the mecca of homelessness. He's already told you he's playing this game on eleven out of. He's playing the. If difficulty was one out of ten, his difficulty setting would be European extreme. He's not pissing around here, dude. Phidias is ready to go. So the videos actually start off pretty okay, where he's actually like just covering basketball games, you know, some trash around Skid Row. And of course he comes across what appears to be a very, very, very nice group of people, probably from a mission or, or an aid society that are just trying to help these people get on their feet. This poor lady thinks, oh man, this person's just trying to spread the goodwill. No, 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 honey. This man is trying to steal from the homeless. How do I know? Let's watch this video a little bit deeper. This is Santa Monica Pierre Toilet. I'm peeing while recording. Hey guys. Oh, hey. hey. Dog, he is committing a f felony. What is this? It is a crime in California for a person to view the inside of a bathroom via a camera. What? Wait, thank God I'm not in California. Oh no, I've seen the law being broken. California Penal Code 647 JPC is California's criminal invasion of privacy law. The law states that it is illegal for a person to view the inside of a room or area in which a person has a reasonable expectation of privacy. Bathrooms, bedrooms, changing rooms, filmings. California Invasion of Privacy states two peeping Tom laws. It makes it a crime for a person to peek in the door or window of an inhabited structure while loitering on private property. It makes it illegal in their civil code to capture photos, videos, or audio recordings of people engaging in a private activity. I would think pissing and shitting is a pretty private activity. God damn, this man just commits crimes on camera for no real reason. Why? It's time for the big basketball game. You oh, won. hell yeah. Basketball, 11, 11 to 10. 10. Nice. I will sleep in your tent and I will sleep in my couch. <laughs> I will sleep in this couch. The sun is going down tomorrow. I can't. I can't, dude. He's like, you won the game? Whatever. Go sleep in your tent. I got a couch. <laughs> I don't even know if he's like unintentionally trying to flex, but goddamn. <laughs> Phidias just has those mannerisms that kill me, man. God, I love this guy. I really do. God damn. Next stop is my house to leave my back and the camera so Skid Row people doesn't rob me. I love how he's like Skid Row people, the homeless people, they don't rob me. Those filthy Skid Row types. They better not do anything to my shit. God damn. So he's gonna take his mask, his phone and a power bank. All right, let's go. So now I came to one part that I saw in the map to survive here tonight. All right, I survival mode. to sleep inside a kid playground. <laughs> Can't be saying that. Come on now. He's wanted to sleep inside the kiddo's playground. Ooh. Oh, it's not a clip you want floating around there. So this is my Okay, bed that's his bed. Cool I enough. stole this from a homeless person. <laughs> but I would Dark! Come on! That was he's not even lying when he said that. That was a homeless dude's card. Did you see that? That's literally like a homeless person's cart. They got like, not even joking. They've got the little flute to obviously dispense liquids into like one, oh my God, they've got like their clothes. He legit stole that off of a homeless person, man. You've got money. This is like, this is what I hate. It's like, it's like poverty tourism. He like go, he, he has like, a, it's like going with a hundred dollars to like the, the, the shittiest slum in India. And it's like, wow, look at how great life is for me. When he's got more net worth at that time than like the people living there. It's so sad. Like, and then, and then, and then on top of it, like it's not even the poverty tourism that gets me. It's just stealing from a homeless person, dude. And I love it. I love how he has to like correct himself in the bottom, like uh, bottom right. G g stealing. Yeah, we know you stole it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, Phidias reminds me of a lot of people uh, like the 3 a.m. channels. OK, I really think the Mr. Beast clones have to be worth looking into. And I think this is what I'm really going to look into from the for the next couple like weeks, maybe is like deep diving into the magical world of these like crazy clones, because Phidias has been doing this for like months, if not years. And the fact that he's just shown up on everyone's radar because he decided to join the uh, the new circuit 
that's insane, dude. The fact that people can blatantly upload like him stealing on a channel and then you scroll all the way down over here too. It's like, Phidias, you are a beast. This was a banger. <laughs> I love him so much. He's such a genuinely good person. We need more people like him. All right, boys, stock up. Skid Row's a free hunting day for valuables. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I always wondered why a YouTuber hasn't done this idea. Now, hold on a minute. Let's not forget Vitaly feeding the homeless, okay? Look at, look at what you're doing to me. Can you guys back out? Come on now. It's been done by YouTubers before. Now, did Vitaly steal from a homeless guy? No. That makes what Vitaly did way more morally okay than this shit. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I'm living in a Black Mirror episode. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.